Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look using the Slave palette from I Heart Revolution. And yeah, let's just jump into it. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. It's a pretty bright palette. It's part of their Halloween range, so um, it's got a lot of names like Gun, Slimy, and it just rep represents slime. I don't know, it's a weird palette name, but let's go so i'm just gonna pack i don't need to put any primer on i've already done that so i'm just gonna go in with volcano here actually you know what i'm gonna go in with jelly which is a purple color and that's it there and i'm just gonna pack that on the outer v so here we go It's not the darkest colour in the palette. They've got really dark colours like Sludge, which is a black. And they've also got Flub. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I'm talking about this palette, it's giving me Ghostbusters vibes, you know. The, the slime ball, whatever it is called, I can't remember. But I'm just packing jelly on the outside. And it's a really nice really nice kind of purple, light purple shade but it's the darkest colour I'm going to be using so that's why I'm going in with it first. Taking that into the centre of my eyelid just on the crease I'm just trying to build it up but it is really pretty so I guess that will do for now and then I'm just going to go in and do the other eye. This palette retails for £8.99 or £9. I don't know why but one of them is more expensive than the other. I think either the blood is more expensive than the slime or the slime is more expensive than the blood. I think maybe it's the blood that's the most expensive one. I don't know why they've done that. It's only one pence but I don't know. They're the same palette. They're both chocolate palettes. I really love their chocolate palettes. They're my absolute favourite. You should see my drawer, it's full of them. I think I've got every single one. Pretty much. I gave the violet one to my sister. But the only ones I don't have are the ones that are in the limited. Not the limited. Um, the Christmas collections and the chocolate vaults, you know. We've got some of the minis as well, but in the past I've done the uh, I've done des I've done designs. I like to design them and give them names but anyway, so that's that buff uh, that's that jelly shade on both of the eyes. So now I'm gonna go in with a volcano which is this shade down here and I'm gonna use a Jeffree Star brush called this is the JS9 my dad has literally just turned on the Hoover so if you can hear it I'm very sorry but again just going in this volcano it's kind of like a coral it's more a coral orange shade it's not orange not not coral it's kind of both and I'm just putting that above jelly My dog's just popped in to say hello. Hello. Are you wanting to say hello? Here then. <laughs> this is my dog Max. He's just wanting to say hello. Hey Danny. <laughs> he has no clue what's going on. Anyway, back to the eyeshadow. Still going in with Volcano. Kind of just doing circular motions to blend that in above jelly. Wow, they're actually really nice together. I kind of thought this was maybe a bit random, but it's not. It's, it's making like a nice pink colour. Just taking that into the inner corner. That is 
absolutely stunning. It's not the best pigment, but it's drugstore and it's really nice. I love Makeup Revolution or I Heart Revolution because you get really good eyeshadows for really cheap prices. My dad just came off and asked me who I'm talking to. I don't know if everyone else has experienced that when they just started YouTube. The parents coming up and saying, who are you talking to? Seems a bit funny just talking to a camera, but some people make a living out of it. So I've kind of, I've lost that purple shade. So I'm going to go in with it again anyway, but Next, I'm going to go in with Hey Putty down in the bottom left, and I'm just going to bring that above Volcano using the same brush, just kind of popping it half on top of Put no, half on top of Volcano and half on the brow bone. I always go for the same shape which is kind of like a you know it's like a, a wing massive wing I'm actually really impressed with how this is looking and these brushes are really good It's kind of just looking like this at the moment. So that volcano shade has really turned orange. But no worries. I'm going to go in with volcano again and then just build that up again above jelly. Jeffree Star charges an arm and a leg for his brushes and it starts to shed onto my lip. There's also a shade in here called Toxic and it's pretty much identical to Volcano but it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. So they're not the same. There's another palette by I Heart Revolution called the Lemon Drizzle palette. And there's two gold shades in there that are, they are the exact same. You would not be able to tell them apart if they were both in separate pans. Which they are, but you know what I mean. Just dipping back into Putty. Weird name. I wonder who comes up with these names. I'm going to go back in with Jelly, which was that purple shade that we used at the very start. I used, sorry. And just go build that up again. Don't worry about any harsh lines because I'm going to take them away with a, a clean, well, a brush that I can clean with the colour changer I have. So I'm just going in with the Jeffree Star brush in GS8 and I'm not going to put anything on it. I'm just going to blend out the tops next to my eyebrow to make it more seamless and not so sharp. So it looks like it's more blended into the skin and not just plopped up. So now I'm back with cut crease on as you can see. I'm just going to go back in with the jelly and just pack it on the outer corners where the cut crease ends. I like to take the cut crease all the way out to the side so that I can pack on the darkest shade again. And I kind of just do it, putting it on diagonal, kind of just to cover the majority of the edges. And then I can go back in with Volcano and the other shades and put them on too. This brush that I got from Pre Markets called it comes in a pack of three, 
The 252 eyeshadow blending brush is really good for packing on shades. I love this. Never underestimate a pre-mark brush. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's too good to be true. I can assure you, I really like that ectoplasm shade. It's like this nice silver, but I really also like a lava lamp. So maybe I could make, maybe I could put both of them on somehow. I'm just kind of taking that purple shade up to the, the top for the crease, for the concealer end at the really top. And blend in the purple with the coral orange shade. You can use circular motions as well. Sometimes that helps, but just light ones. Just light, with a light hand. I think that'll do. So that's what I've got just now. So, now for the fun part. I'm just gonna take my Jeffree Star lid brush in JS10. I think I'm gonna go in with the lava lamp at the bottom and then go in with Ooze, which is this one, on the outside. Or maybe I'll just put lava lamp on the whole lid. I don't know, I'm very indecisive at the moment. But it's a really nice shape. We'll see how it works out. I've not wet it or anything, I just kind of wanted to put it on and build it up. Sorry if I seem out of breath, I've just run down the stairs thinking that my parcel had arrived, but the dogs were barking at a farm foods voucher. Now that I see that, I think that is my parcel. I'll just take that right up to the top of the, the concealer, obviously. This is a gorgeous shade. Hello. Hello. Oh, Max. One of my dogs is very grumpy. So this is kind of what we're dealing with. I'll zoom you in. You can't, probably can't see it just yet, but it's getting on, it's doing good. Well, there's a wee bit of fallout, not gonna lie, tiny wee bits are coming off and going onto my cheeks. Okay, yes, it works really well with your finger as well. I actually really like this Jeffree Star brush, I didn't think I would. I knew I would like it, but not as much as the the Makeup Revolution Flexi brush with the, the two ends on it. The flat brush of that is amazing for eyeshadow. So I've covered some of jelly, but I can just go in with that again. I wish there was a darker purple in there in this palette. Now that the lid is covered, I'm just kind of going in again just to intensify that. And then I'm just going to go off camera and do the other eye and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's me just finished putting lava lamp on both eyes and that's what it looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back in with my Primark brush and the shade Jelly and pack that again over the outside of the cut crease just so that there's no harsh lines. Like I said, it's not the darkest purple ever so it's not going to it might, it's actually covering it quite well, so I can take that back. This eye is very sore for some reason. I must have bruised it. Kind of just window shield. Window wiper shield? I don't know. Back and forth of motions, you know. Back and forth. <clears throat> onto the lid. And on the, onto the outer corner kind of giving it that seamless blend that we want. I like, I like that a lot. I'm going to go in with jelly at the end and I'm going to take 
another Jeffree Star brush, JS11, and take it underneath the eye. But first, oh my god, there's some some fallout is there, so it's kind of a little bit purple, but I'm just kind of packing it away. Anyway, I'm going to go in now with a Morphe brush, which is the Morphe M139. And I'm going to go back in with Volcano, which was that bright orange coil shade. Just starting from the outside in. On top, I always go on top of the, the cut crease. I don't know, you meant to like leave it harsh. I kind of blend it out into the cut crease if that makes any sense and into the inner corners as much as possible. Kind of like that. That looks so nice. I like this palette a lot. I've probably said that like three times now. Just kind of go in bit after bit. Don't Pack the brush full of pigment and then leave it a mess. And then I'm just going to go in with a shade putty again above Volcano. Kind of mix it in with Volcano. That's what blending is, isn't it? blending it together and that's how it kind of looks like that obviously I'll get rid of any harsh lines oh I really like this look this brush is great for blending I've taken that shade putty as well as far into the inner corner as I can and as far out into the outer corner as I can so that the eyes look like this. And then, when you're happy with that, which I am, the cut crease isn't so bold, but it's still a cut crease. I'm going to go in with a shade Jelly on my GS11, I think it was, and take that under the eye. It's a nice flat brush but it's really dense so it doesn't like, it doesn't bend, if that makes any sense. Just kind of pat it on, it's better to pat rather than to swipe. I never used to do the under eye, but now I can't not do it. It definitely ties the whole eye together. And then I need to do my inner corner which will probably be ectoplasm since it's the latest shade in the palette. You may or may not look like you've been punched a little bit, but that's due to the purple. The pigment never sticks under my eyes because I always make my eyes water. I'm going to go in with a different brush actually, the JS13 and just, it's more domed and smaller. That gets right in the inner corner. There we go, that's what we want. There we go, it's also connected with the outer V. For anyone wondering what I was talking about when I meant that brush that I liked, it's this one. It's a bit spendy. And that's the, the brush I used to use all the time for putting on my shimmer shades. I still do, but I'm using my Jeffree Star ones at the minute. So I'm just going to go in for another blank brush, clean brush. And then just clean that up underneath and over the top. And I'm going to go back in with the, the brush I used for the underneath of the eye and go in with ectoplasm on it. Tap it off and put that on the inner corners. I'll zoom you in. Kind of see it there. Just packing that on there in the inner corner. 
it's a nice, lovely silver shade. Gorgeous. And then, I'm just going to pop some mascara on and I think that's the finished look. On camera it looks so much more out there, it looks really, it looks too much on camera. But it just looks like a natural eye look to me. So anyway, this palette was actually really good. That jelly shade that I use for my outer corner and under the eye. It's not really pigmented, you do have to build it up a lot. But it is a drugstore eyeshadow. And these palettes are amazing for £8.99, £9, whatever it is. And I would highly recommend it. And yeah, this is the finishing. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll just see you next time. And if you want to let me know what other chocolate palette tutorial you would like me to do then comment down below make sure to subscribe because that encourages me to do more videos and it, it takes a lot of time to edit so i will do that for you if you want me to but until next time see you later i've not wet this or anything so it'll take <coughs>